KFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, two hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets mixed to negative right now on reports that tariffs are staying in place through the 2020 election. You had the S&P right up there near record territory and quite a little pullback we've had in the last hour. We'll get into it. S&P is now negative by five points, trading at 32.85. Got the Dow Jones positive by 50, trading 28,957. NASDAQ negative by 13, trading at 92.60. We've got gold negative about $4. Oil right now up 45 cents. And we're just going to get into the story of the hour. And there's your headline. China tariffs to stay put until after despite deal. Existing tariffs on billions of dollars of Chinese goods coming into the U.S. are likely to stay in place until after the American presidential election. And any move to reduce them will hinge on Beijing's compliance with the terms of a phase one trade deal. So that story coming out within the last hour will jump over to the charts and you will see when that story breaks. And there is the acceleration, and there is the Dow. So the Dow, that story breaking just after 130. You were up above 29,000. We shave almost 100 Dow points off that level, 28,913, looking at the futures. NASDAQ 100, you trade from a price point of 9,094. We shave about 40 points off the NASDAQ 100, now trading 9,057. S&Ps, as I mentioned, right up there near record highs. I believe the record print Late last night was about 32.96. We were trading just under 32.95. We shave about 10 S&P points off that level, 32.85. Crude oil, $58.40 right now. You've got the gold contract trading at 15.45. Gold was as high as 15.49. And the euro U.S. dollar trading at 111.31. It is earnings season. Banks kicking it off. Let's jump through some of the Winners and losers for today, J.P. Morgan quite a beat this morning, pairing some of the gains, though. We were up as high as, what is the high for the day? A high of 140.76. We've paired about a buck and a half, now trading 139.29, excuse me, 139.24, still up almost 1.5%. You also had, in the loser section, Wells Fargo, now down almost 4.5%, and checking in on Tesla, up a solid 2.7% again today. Should be an interesting couple hours to finish the day. Tariffs in place. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, live at 3. We'll be right back.